All right. They tell us we're going to be adding, subtracting, and all of our new skills to get all these eggs. Um, and because it's not all the same, we're not going to be putting in any loops. So we know from here to here is 15. But we want to get that first egg. So we need to subtract 4 which gives us 11. So let's do that first. Step 11, pick up, and then we're gonna step four and pick up to get the next one. Now, this is not the most technically challenging, as in code-wise challenging, but it has a lot of steps that are gonna require a lot of different strategies, I highly recommend testing as you go. That's what real programmers do. So my first chunk is to get the first two eggs. I'm gonna, I'm gonna make sure that works the way I expect. So that now I can focus on the next part and I know that I don't need to fix anything there. So, and yes, in, we're picturing in our mind the movement, it's still really good to check. Because if you've watched my videos, you see anyone can make an oops, right? Doesn't mean you don't know what to do, it means you made an error, because you're human. So from here, we're gonna need the bird to turn left. If you're like me, and you are not great with um, figuring out your directions, anytime you turn, testing is a good thing because then you can be sure you've got the correct direction especially when the bird is not facing the same way as you i feel pretty confident when i'm facing the same direction as the bird we're going to turn left and we're going to need to get from this egg to that egg which is going to be a full 10. so we're going to step 10 and we're going to pick up another reason that testing is great is if you forget to pick up like i frequently do you'll catch it so Let's run that. Now I knew these were fine. All right. So another thing I love about testing is it lets me see where my character is. Some people go as fast as they can to click that button without looking. But this is going to help me with my direction. Because if you're trying to do it in your mind, picturing it, it starts to get tricky. But now it's easier for me to see I need this bird to turn left again, and maybe you already knew that, and then I need the bird to step from here all the way to here, which, as I'm sure you know, I can't measure with the ruler, but they give us this and this to help us get there. So we're gonna turn left and then step 19. Oh, a common mistake, you almost saw me do it, but something I do when I get going is sometimes I forget to put the word turn in. And because in our mind, we know what we want the code to be, sort of like reading your own writing, sometimes you can't catch an error because you know what you meant to write. But I left out the word turn. So if you're, um, if you're like confused about like, no, I've got all the steps, go in and look at small things like that. Like, do you have, if, if I put an extra space here, that line of code isn't gonna work. But, or if I leave out the word turn, it's not gonna work. All right, so after we turn left, so sometimes you know what the code should be. You just have like a small error in there with formatting. Kind of like forgetting a period on your sentence. And we said that was gonna be 19, right? And then finally, we're gonna pick up. Now, notice how my screen just got smaller. Don't worry when it does that. It's just adjusting to give you more room. And it really just changed the text size because it's like, oh, you must be writing a lot. But we're actually done. So let's see how it goes. So I know I'm good for my first three eggs. If something goes wrong, I only need to fix the few lines I added for that fourth egg. And if you 
make it to the end of 20, you've made it through the whole course. You should revisit your map up here and make sure you don't have any one-star solutions hanging around. But if everything has two or three stars, congratulations.